starting any maintenance work on the boiler, please ensure that it is switched off. After switching off the system, please let it cool down for at least two to three hours. Biotech warranty requirements state that the maintenance of the system must be carried out by authorised technicians at least once per year, but no later than when reaching 1500 hours of operation. We will carry out a number of routines during the cleaning of the process. One, cleaning of heat exchanger tubes. Two, cleaning of flue glass outlet. Three, cleaning of combustion chamber and ashtray. Four, check function of grate move mechanism. Five, check door seals. To start the process of cleaning the heat exchanger tubes, remove the top cover. It is good practice to start cleaning a boiler from top to bottom as any ash will fall down during the process and will be caught during the subsequent cleaning routines. Start the heat exchanger cleaning function on the boiler. Let it run for approximately 5 minutes in order to permit a good cleaning of the heat exchanger tubes. Whilst this is running, check that the lever above the eccentric plate is fully pressed down to hoist the lifting rods and that the mechanism is running smoothly. Now remove the heat exchanger lid from the top of the boiler and vacuum out the buildup of ash from the top section. Manually lift each of the heat exchanger cleaning springs in turn to ensure that the full length of each tube is clear and free of blockages. You should be able to listen for this. Once you are happy with the operation of the heat exchanger section and it is cleaned, then reseal the boiler lid with rope seal to ensure air tightness. Lubricate the eccentric plate with copper paste. Make sure that the copper paste remains during the operation. The eccentric plate must run freely. Finally, test the operation again and then replace the top cover. The flue gas outlet is cleaned via the inspection plate known as the letterbox. Remove the inspection plate of the induced draft fan and remove any deposits using a vacuum cleaner. Also check that there is no debris around the lambda sensor, which should be visible through this inspection plate. We will now move down to the combustion chamber and ashtray. If you now use the boiler screen to open the burner grate, then any debris will fall down into the ash drawer underneath. In order to prevent dust escaping whilst opening the boiler door, start the flue gas fan. Open the covering door or remove front cover in order to have access to the burner cleaning door. Open the lower cleaning door to get to the ash chamber. Take out the ash drawer from the lower cleaning opening and empty it. Now open the upper cleaning door and keep the emptied ashtray under it. Remove the ash which remains around the burner using a vacuum cleaner. Also clean the area around the pellet chute. Check that the burner area is completely clean. You can now remove the pellet chute. Remove the upper burner bowl. Check for debris in the secondary air area. And inspect the igniter tube for debris. Visually inspect the upper and lower burner pots for signs of wear. You are looking for any worn through sections that would cause a change in airflow around the combustion chamber. Also check the grate for signs of wear. Before replacing the upper burner bowl, inspect the gasket material and decide if this needs to be replaced. Using a vacuum cleaner, remove any residual ash in the ash chamber. To check the grate cleaning mechanism, open the right hand front cover on the boiler. Press the release switch of the grate rod and let it run smoothly. Ensure that the distance between the sensor and the gear rod is between a minimum of 2mm and maximum of 4mm. It is only within these tolerances that the sensor can recognise whether the grate is closed or not. After checking that the grate cleaning mechanism runs smoothly, lubricate the grate cleaning rod with copper paste. Before closing up the boiler, you will need to check the door seals. The upper combustion chamber door uses rope seal and the lower ash chamber door uses a rubber seal. To check if there is a good seal around each door, 
close the doors and then turn on the induced draft fan. If you then hold a lighter all around the door, you will see if the flame is being pulled towards the door or if the flame is stable. If the flame is being sucked towards the door, then the door seal will need to be replaced. Now put the ash drawer back into its original position and reset the ash counter on the boiler screen. Now that the boiler has been cleaned, you can dispose of any removed ash and restart the heating system.